So today we're going to follow on with our topic of hypermobility or rigidity and the different body types that can be out there. So there are five really simple tests that you can do to see if you might be potentially hypermobile or have more movement in your joints than maybe the average person. First test, hold your arms out with your arms straight and see if you can bend your thumb all the way back to see if it can touch your forearm. So if you can actually get this thumb to touch here, then you are hypermobile. But two, with your finger and hands straight, you can do this on a table, lift this finger up as far back as it possibly can. And if it can get to 90 degrees while the rest of your hand gets stays straight, if it can get to 90 degrees or more, that means you are hypermobile. And you can do the same with your other side. So test both right and left. Third test we're going to look at is your elbows. So when you hold your arms straight, does your elbow stop at that straight line or can it get past it into hyperextension? So you're looking at at least 10 degrees, so if that's neutral, you're looking at 10 degrees or more of extension past neutral. And if you are getting past neutral, then you are hypermobile. And again, test the other side. Number four. See how far you can bend over with your legs straight. So keeping the legs straight, feet together, try and get down as far as you can. If you can put your hands, palms down, flat on the floor like what I've just done, with your legs still straight, then yes, you are hypermobile. The last one, the fifth one, is to see if your knee can actually extend past neutral. So does your knee stop at the middle or does it continue to hyperextend to get past neutral? And if it does do this by 10 degrees or more, then you are hypermobile. And you wanna be checking it on the other side as well. So I hope you had a go at all of those five tests. So four of them have left and right. So give yourself one point for each side that you end up saying, yes, I am hypermobile too. And if you end up with nine out of nine, then you are definitely hypermobile. And if you get zero out of nine, then you're probably more on the rigid side. And if you've got maybe four or five, then you might be sort of middle of the way to hypermobile, but not too, too flexy. So have a go and see what you get.